Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection, Classic Toys. And in this case, Classic Toys of the 1990s. The G.I. Joe Real American Hero Cobra Weapon Vehicle. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. I bought this back in the day at KB. And look at the box. There's all kinds of nice information on there and uh, the instructions and so forth. I did not come with a figure and uh, I don't have any three and three quarter GI Joes that are uh, open. So I, I had a little Star Wars figure, so I put him in there and uh, let's take a look at the vehicle first and then we'll look at the rest of the stuff. This is from 1993, so this was towards the end of the original run. G.I. Joe's Real American Hero started in 1982. So this was cool that it's got uh, Cobra Enemy label on there. Very neat vehicle here. It's kind of dusty. It was displayed for a long time. Let's see the figure. I'll take him out. This is a little Star Wars figure I had. Put him over there. You can see into the cockpit. Those would close and then they'd lock together. It's got some missiles on the side. Landing gear, propulsion. Let's look at that uh, other like a laser blaster or so right there. That moves, swivels, and moves. These are where you have the spare uh, missiles. Not going to hit that, but I uh, believe that fires that out. Cool. It's got the neat logo on there. It says Moonstrike. that other thing say pod unit and that's that this is the box that it was in with uh, all the material that were in here here it is here they did this blueprint style uh, instruction sheet lots of stickers to go on there I don't know if all the stickers are left on it they tend to dry out. There it is, Hasbro, 1993. This is 2023. It's 30 years old. There's the specifications. How to assemble. There's a lot of little parts, and you can see some of them, what I call in modeling, the sprues that the parts are on. I had to take them off, assemble the whole thing. Ages five and up, so there's a lot to put together on this. Got an antenna on there. And so forth. Inserting the figure. Place figure not included into cockpit. Very cool. Let's look at the box. Of course, there's the front and the back and the four sides. They've got stuff on all the sides. Let's a closer look at the front, and then we'll look at the back. See, it was eight ninety nine. dollars <laughs> mentioned the toy for that now, and then it was marked down four ninety nine. so that's the reason I got it, because I was a Adventure Team guy, and uh, they just started coming out with the 12-inch Hall of Fame so I was buying those, and then I was buying a Vintage Adventure Team and 1960s G.I. Joes at the time, but saw this. <clears throat> Very nice. Probably should have kept it just sealed, but I wanted to take it out and so forth, and I put it together. Top secret. Add them to your G.I. Joe command files. The Star Brigade, uh, Cobra Command Weapon, Cobra, trademark. 
Cobra Enemy. Very cool. This is very much what they're showing. Very nice. And then there's this is still here, the, the flag points. A little box insert where the stickers were. I think I got the stickers on mainly uh, where they're supposed to go. So that was uh, something different from my collection. Star Brigade, G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe! Till next time, thanks for watching, everyone.